good morning welcome back to the vlog i'm sitting outside of a coffee shop because i needed to get out of the house and i'm waiting for alta to open i have some work this is a heavy work week for us yesterday the entire day i was pretty much focused on some weight watchers content that i was doing and i'm trying to be better about doing supplemental content so like i did weight watcher stuff where it was like a real and I talked about meal prepping and stuff, but then I tried to film the actual meal prepping, which didn't really fit into the reel, but I was like, oh, I could follow up with this, you know? Will she do it? Who's to say? But the content exists. Today's all about Madison Reed. I have a job with Madison Reed, and I need to go to Ulta and like pick it up and then do the whole shebang. So it's a reel. I like doing reels because I, they're just, I like them more than doing stories and they're quicker than YouTube videos. When there's an edit on a YouTube video, it often takes uh, a couple, like an hour, I mean minimum like an hour to uh, re-edit, re-finalize, re-upload, redo everything and send it over again. So with the reel, it's like, oh, you wanted me to cut out that part where I said really good ingredients and actually you wanted me to say really amazing ingredient? Oh, perfect, whatever, it takes 20 minutes. Like so, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Today is Madison Reed. God, I have as much work as I do right now, but I'm like a little stressed <laughs> because it's normally spaced out better, but not this week. And uh, tomorrow is my baby boy's born day. So I am trying to sandwich the day with Jaden centered activities. He will be 13 years old. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? Like I have two 13 year olds. I mean, what? what that's crazy taking him to breakfast and letting them go to school a little bit late but then pilates and then a very 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 last minute filming and editing uh i had like a very last minute job come through the best thing about last minute jobs is they pay you a little bit extra normally because it's last minute it, they're compensating for the stress essentially which i'm grateful for uh, yeah we're gonna try to do that and then we're taking him out to ramsey's kitchen which is a gordon ramsey's restaurant in naperville and I think that'll be a good time. But I gotta, you know, set up and do some cute little stuff and I gotta go get him a cake. Uh, he wants an Overwise ice cream cake. So thankfully you don't have to order those in advance, but I do need to go pick it up. Thursday, orthodontist, more work. Friday, Friday is some other work I have. And Saturday, I'm doing my Alta job again. So yeah, we've got a busy, we've got a busy work week and I'm grateful for it. I always love that. So yeah, we're at Grace right now. I'm gonna wait until Alta opens, which it's only eight o'clock in the morning. Let's see what time they open. I think I'm gonna make myself work while I'm in here. I have my computer here, let's see. Oh my gosh, it doesn't open until 10, y'all. That's a long time. Okay, so I'm gonna work for about an hour and 45 minutes here. We'll see how much I can get done between reels and YouTube and all of this fun gobbledygook. I swear I get so confused sometimes filming between horizontal and vertical. It's like, where where is this gonna go? Where's this content gonna go today? Oh, okay, great. Film it the other way. <sighs> I don't feel like peopling right now, but I will. What is that? Girl, work required all of my attention for the last seven, eight hours, but I'm back now. Uh, making dinner for the peeps. Try not to get cheese everywhere. This is the one day where my house is thick and span. Uh, not sure what I wanted to make for dinner, so we're doing like Italian sausage and I'm just adding onions. And I think that's gonna cook down and be pretty tasty. This is gonna go with some rice that I have going over here. And Nala was begging for pasta, but I made pasta two days ago. Actually, I made pasta. Uh, she's making this Rouse pasta, the penne alla vodka. I love Rouse. From the freezer department. But the other day I made cacio a pepe, cacio a pepe, from this new cookbook that I got because we went to Barnes and Noble the other day and um, I love cookbooks, you guys know that. I always cook out of cookbooks. I find them to be extremely helpful in my life. So I try not to go crazy getting them. I mean, I have quite a few, but I've obviously stacked these up over years. But I picked this bad boy up right here, even though I had no idea who this man was. And this is quite a heavy book, um, but Jaden said that he watches his videos sometimes. And his name is Andrew Rhea. But 
It says basis with Babish. Is it Babish or Babish? Babish. Babish. Um, basics with Babish. So when I opened it and I was flipping through, one thing that really stuck out to me is that he writes in here all the ways that he has messed up these recipes. And I was like, oh, that's different. Like, you'll get little notes and stuff. And because I use cookbooks so often, obviously, I, I judge them, <laughs> you know, like harshly because they're not all built the same and they don't all set you up for success. But I feel like this one really, really does. And anyway, I ended up trying, um, Nella was flipping through it. She saw Cacio e Pepe recipe. So just, you know, whatever. The pasta. And it was so good. Literally everyone ate it. And it was so tasty. That same day I also bought this one. Which I'm excited to bust into. But it's Gordon Ramsay's home cooking. I already flipped through the whole thing and I read through uh quite a bit of it because <laughs> he has quite a bit of there's a lot of words in here so i read through a lot of it and i actually really like the way he set this up too but i haven't tried any of the recipes so i can't vouch for it that being said it's gordon ramsay so probably gonna be good speaking of that's where we're going for jaden's birthday tomorrow you so excited yes i'm very excited we're actually you're so, so excited yep <laughs> put it on a plate honey Oh, yes. Gracias. Gracias. De nada. No, it's in Spanish. I am in Spanish. She's learning Spanish. Man, they keep changing the Mexican alphabet or the Spanish alphabet. They keep changing that bad boy. What is this? Why does it look like this? There's literally like six noodles in there. There's not six noodles. There's barely any. Who do they think I'm in? I'm a three-year-old? You're not? No, I'm not. I thought you were. I wasn't sure. I'm wearing a set that I got at Walter's World. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It was like $13. And a t-shirt that Nala bought me. Right? Well, yeah, I bought her that for Christmas. For Christmas. We're gonna make dinner and then I think we're going on a little bit of an adventure. So uh, we'll take you guys with. Me and Jaden got slippers, you guys. I really like these. I got my first pair when I like worked with HSN or QVC or something years ago. And they were lovely. So I finally let them kick the bucket because they had like no soul. And <laughs> we like souls around here. So I ended up getting the exact same pair except with like a little leopard print on it. And they're so comfy, I really like them. I wear them literally all day, every day, but these just came in the mail. And I got Jaden a pair too, his are different, but dog needs to protect his feet because he bangs them up, ends up with ingrowns, and then we end up at the podiatrist. And 12 year old should not have to go to the podiatrist as much as this kid does. <laughs> yes, and the shots really hurt from what I've heard. I've never had uh, an issue with that, but visually seeing what they were doing to him felt very bad. But he took it like a champ. Love that. Oh yes, bon apple tea. We don't have any fresh vegetables right now and I don't have time to go to the grocery store for like two more days. So we're having bird's eyes finest. Vegetables or vegetables? Oh, you're gonna wear your slippers? Excitement. Yes. He looks so pretty. No, he looks so pretty like the devil to you, the chamber of Oh, the most song But it sounds like he's saying. It sounds like he looks. It sounds like she's saying he looks so pretty like the devil. Starbucks lovers, but it's long list of ex lovers. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. Starbucks. See there. We're trying to drop off uh, the meal prep I did for my mother. Mother, my mother. I'm trying to drop off the stuff for my madre. I came yesterday and tried to drop this out. These lashes are so big. It's like I can feel them cupping my eye, brow bone. Is he there? I tried to drop it off yesterday, yeah. but he wasn't there. Anyway, we just sent Jaden out there to do it. <laughs> a million degrees outside it's literally 100 degrees they're having a moment they're hugging it's adorable jane's got a mad wedgie <laughs> he's trying to oh jane does mad wedge 
we're back. <laughs> Jaden ended up picking out a Spider-Man cake with light up eyes. Uh, I just yanked off those lashes as lovely as they were. It was too much and I have a, well, too low, a full day of, or rather a full night because it's six something. I had a full night of work ahead of me. Actually, I only want to work for like two, two and a half hours maybe. I've been getting into the nasty little habit, actually maybe it's not, maybe one of you can tell me, of having a sleepy time tea at night. And like, it barely has any melatonin, doesn't it? Like, isn't it like very little amount of melatonin? I have, um, I think it's Celestial Sleepy, the one with the bear on the front. Uh, I mix that with an Arnica tea and I've been having that pretty much, mm, not nightly, but like almost nightly. And it's helping because the kids go to school so early in the morning and I like to be up in the morning just to make sure everything, you know, goes off without a hitch and I can be helpful if they need me to be because sometimes every now and again they run late and, you know, they have to leave so early in the morning. So I go to sleep early because otherwise, man, waking up in the morning freaking sucks. You know, the night before when you're like, okay, well, if I go to sleep right now, I'll get four and a half hours of sleep. And it's like, you just dread it. <laughs> So I try, oh, I am very sensitive. <gasps> am I having a reaction to these? Oh my gosh, my whole face feels like it's on fire. Really, I barely use them, like the thing is still full. Oh my gosh, normally I use the Neutrogena ones. If I use one, which I don't normally, I use a, I don't normally use wipes. I'm only doing that because I'm obviously at my desk and I have a sink. Yeah, okay, well we have, oh golly. We have a, uh, I have some stuff I need to do for like some business stuff that is very boring. I will say that tea that I've been making tastes absolutely incredible. Um, and it's, I think it's cause I kind of treat it like coffee almost, not with nearly as much milk. I don't try to make a latte out of it. Although I do want to make a London Fog latte. Is it a latte? London Fog latte? Does that sound right? I want to do that, but I don't have the right kind of tea bags. I think you need Earl Grey, right? I could be totally wrong, but I don't have Earl Grey. Okay, I'm gonna let myself only work for two hours and I'm gonna force myself to focus. Freaking cat just walked in here and I know he's about to jump up here and be all up in my grill. Golly gee willers. Yeah, this is actually kind of burning. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. That's unpleasant. Oh golly, I think I need to wash my face. It's a girl. Morning pumpkins. Today's a big day because it's Wednesday. We love Wednesdays around here. I wear black. It's J Dad's birthday. I just broke the news to him that I've been lying to him about his age all his life. And you're actually 16. Yeah, I don't believe it. Welcome to becoming a driver of cars. Yes. Yes. His jersey has a 13 on it. It's very appropriate. YouTubers got canceled for decline for cats. Yeah. Oh golly. We Southern Bells. See, this is we're talking about the heavy stuff here. Yeah. And my Pinterest page. But I This is what this is what's on our package. Lee. She literally just says Lee. Lee. That's not how you say it. That's not even how you spell it. Yeah, um, escucha, fee house, So, you're 13. What do you want to be when you grow up? Honestly, um, something to do with, like, technology or engineering. And, uh, uh maybe, maybe YouTuber. Who knows? Maybe a streamer? YouTuber. Yeah, I do watch a lot of streamers. But, like, I don't watch the streams, but they stream. Except, like, a couple of them I actually watch a stream. Or if it's, like, Call of Duty. I watch Call of Duty streams. Because I can get free stuff sometimes. Uh, so. nice. How tall are you? Almost 5'10. Like, barely. You're probably there now. Maybe. Yeah. How do you feel about being a teenager? Wowza. Wowza? Yeah. Okay, look so look dead it. in the camera and tell yourself a message um, for next year. I didn't tell myself a message all year this year, but we uh, had to do it for I, I, I Oh, you did? What was your message? About the PC. Oh. Uh, well, uh, me next year, uh, hopefully you are taller. 
<laughs> well, you can't even do that though. Yeah, you can. You can do he anything. He can't. I know, but he can't force himself. He can to grow. wish it. And also, I, I should get all A's. Yeah, get all A's. Yep. And what are you most looking forward to? Uh, it, release, release why? Next, no, re- releases. Video game releases. Or movies. Or shows. Baldwin's far. He really um, loved the movie. Don't let him lie to you. He didn't see it, but he knows it's good. <laughs> he heard excellent things about it. Yeah, 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 I heard excellent things on YouTube. Um, Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. What else? That TV show that's coming out later this year. Which one? That's so specific. Cat. It's I don't remember. What it's oh, the called. Harry Potter one. You no, love that. That's uh, uh, not at least. It's called. Six. I don't even have actors. Or it's. I forgot what it's called, but it's 15 episodes, each based around a single game franchise. Oh, interesting idea. And they at least showed some, and it looks pretty good. I'm here too. We need a video video catalog. Um, I'm also here. Big day today. Yeah. Jaden, you should make a time capsule for your 18th I have a lot of work to do while Jaden's at school today. So I let him skip first period, obviously, to bring that to uh, breakfast. And third period. No. Oh, All right. For me, for me, it's second and third. Oh yeah. So how does that work? What time does? I think. Wait. Our periods are different lengths. Like, see you in a bit. Total. Now I got my side pancakes because it's so much smarter for us to give her the side pancakes because she never eats them. I got an omelet, biscuits and gravy for the birthday boy. Sunny side up eggs. What a choice you made. I don't even know how to make those. To be honest with you. It looks like yeah, a Wait, how do they cook the white? I said it confidently this time. Nice, good job. Really loves the hot sauce. Real bad. You and me. Oh, you oh no! Go over this? It's gonna skip your birthday. Yeah. He's not gonna get this Saturday. I, I just should read it. Thursday, Friday. Uh, Actually, leap years no, you he will. No, he will. He will. Oh, he will. Oh, he will. He'll skip. It'll skip Sunday. Oh yeah. Which oh, I'm good. fine with that. Monday birthdays are great too. Mine's like, on a Thursday this year, and the next day, year it's on a Friday. Yours on a Thursday? So mine is. Monday. When is mine then? Five days after. Wait, mine. the 14, one we're going 15, to Tokyo. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Mine's on a Tuesday. The Tokyo oh, one's going to be on Saturday, isn't it? Your Tokyo yeah. birthday? Hold on, let's see the math. Tokyo's going to be on a Saturday. Was this leap year? Yeah. Your Tokyo birthday's going to be on a Saturday? No, it's going to be on a Friday. I take it back. Yeah, yeah, because it's two right. years from now. Oh, like, yeah. My is going to be a Friday. We've returned home. I picked up some stuff I needed for a job, went to Pilates, well, in a different order, and dropped the kids off at school. It literally backwards. Everything I said, make it backwards. They just dropped off what I needed. So now who's at the front door? I'm waiting on a bunch of packages. I need, period. The ones I needed, literally, were just dropped off in front of the house. The truck is still out there, perfect. So we're gonna put a face on, hair, do all that and then go and film. And this job that I'm doing today has to be um, filmed today. I couldn't have done it before today as you saw the packages just arrived and edited today as well and posted tomorrow, which is insane. That it's never like that, it, it, ever. And this is another Walmart video and I literally posted one yesterday. But I was like, you know, it's different stuff, um, different vibes. And I don't know, Walmart's super affordable and their stuff is like really, I don't know if it changed a ton. I had shopped from Walmart before obviously plenty of times in the past, but I feel like more recently, like I'm just really impressed by their stuff. The last couple of times that I actually went in and looked at it, um, they have like a pretty solid selection in store, but then obviously when you go online, like so much more. I posted a pair of shorts over the summertime and I really if I was a better content creator I would have like done a whole post and blah blah, blah but I'm not okay so I posted them and I just posted them in a story and you guys bought those shorts uh to the to the sum of like forty four thousand dollars or something worth of buying like placing these orders for these shorts and I was like blown away but it just reminded me like a $17 pair of shorts makes a lot of sense. You know what I mean? Like that makes sense. And if you're going to get new stuff, cause you don't always need new stuff. It makes sense that it just be something that works. It's affordable and it's super accessible. Like 
I don't know, you can order just the shorts, you know, and you don't feel weird. Or you can just go to the store and grab them when you're shopping for groceries or whatever. I don't know. That like blew my mind because that's very abnormal. Like that doesn't normally happen when I like post a link that, you know, one singular item gets sold that much. I mean, it'll like certain things will be sold a lot, especially when they're on sale, obviously. So let's do our makeup. I need to replicate yesterday's makeup because I actually filmed half of this video yesterday. And when you see it, if you watch it, you let me know if you can tell that I filmed it on two different days because I'm gonna try to completely replicate it, but I also need to hurry the heck up because it's already noon and I have very little time to do everything that I need to do today including obviously setting up for Jay's birthday and putting everything out da, 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 and then we're all going to dinner and it's a whole thing. So let me do this. On that note, I'm curious what you guys do for birthdays. Like, are, are, do you have like traditions, like birthday traditions? We don't really have any. I feel like we kind of did over the years like different little things, but um, you know, kids evolve, I evolve, things change. I'm, I'm curious though, because I see some people that are like, oh, I interviewed my kid every single birthday and they said this, this and that. And I'm like, well, that's really cute. Really wish I would have thought about that one. Too late now. But is it really too late? Like I could literally start when they're 13 and it's still gonna be interesting 10 years from now. Like it's never too late. All right, now we're doing some filming obviously on this camera. My HDMI cord, like the port on the Sony is, I don't, I don't know what's going on. It makes it a lot more difficult though, because normally I can see myself on this big screen up here and it's perfect. And this one is just by comparison sucks. How about this little set? What do you think? This is uh, from Walmart. So it's a no boundary set. And I like their little bike short and like bra ones. Those ones are $13.98. This one is $19.98, I think, but obviously like, how cool is this? Huh? It zips both ways <laughs> and it has a hood. Anyway, let me continue. Uh, more filming. First, because I feel like this for sure, like this is good. Because this Anyway, that's all I, all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I will, of course, have links to everything down below in the description. Two on the boat, including knives. Stay back. Keep an eye on them. Let me know if anything changes. Will, Faith came up onto the porch. She was, but Sarah was seated closest to Keisha. He placed the plastic evidence bag on the table. Keisha stared at the handle. Ah, I'm finalizing the video. Um, it's not done yet, but I need to set up the kitchen for Jaden's birthday because the kids are going to be here. Oh, I forgot to stuff this freaking thing out of. The kids are going to be back in like 20 minutes. Actually, they're asking me to pick them up from the uh, bus stop, which I will. So that means we have 20 minutes to make this little area over here kind of give like, um, yay, birthday party vibes, even though it's not a party, but you know, want to feel like a party. Nailed it. Got some stuff up on the wall. Got a shark over there. You would think this is like a six-year-old's birthday, but honestly, he's gonna love it. So I don't even care. And that pinata's full of candy and money. So it'll be perfect. Just what he wants, I'm sure. Yes, I already got him his gift. I gave it to him earlier in the summer, but I knew I wasn't gonna not give him anything on his actual birthday. Um, he's a really good kid. I don't know if that comes across <laughs> from what you guys get to see of him. So. Um, I wanted to do a little something extra. I'm gonna go grab them real quick. We're walking home in case you're not done. Uh, um, okay, well, I was recording in vertical, but he tore it up. <laughs> um, he's going to see what Lewis bought him. He left it on his bed. I have about probably a solid 45 to an hour of work left, which is fine because we have a just shy of two hours before we need to leave. Obviously, I want to spend time with kids and stuff. Usually when they get home, I'm done working, but not today. That's okay. We're gonna get this stuff done. Jay's gonna do whatever with his stuff, and uh, let's get back to work. I'm actually very hungry, but I don't want to eat, and I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, it's... $100 Jaden is bawling out of control. He's bawling. He's gonna pass me up soon. Yeah, he's gonna pass you up. You're in debt. Your credit score is so bad. <laughs> That's not very kind. The truth hurts. A very kind note. Also have a book. Oh, did he? Yeah. Nice. Bro left him a paragraph essay. Nice. Yeah. I'll be saving my cards. Do you guys save your cards and notes? 
Uh, I say mine. I say I had like 300 cards from when you guys sent them to me when I was in like second grade. Oh yeah. I still have those, I think. Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get what? The beef Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a salad in its tummy. Yeah. A little buttery bowl. Go for it. It's super hot. I'm guessing though. a side salad would just be a side of it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Oh, I haven't made you guys get a picture, huh? Dang. You know how I get over here. We don't do we don't do the uh you know cute stuff. Do you think you'd be a good vlogger on this? Heck no. Do you think I'm a good vlogger? You do some good commentary. I don't know, I don't watch your channel. That is true. Don't ask me. And then, oh I do hear you listening to that dude too. Yeah, it is a sparkler. So you start uh, hey, wait, you start away from you, because otherwise yeah. your arm goes over the fire. And then you're gonna No pressure. You want me to do the ones on this side? No, he's got it. Summer of Jaden figuring it out. Summer of Jaden not setting a fire. I feel like a real lighter would go off. Yeah. yeah. Do you want a real lighter? Yes. Do you have one? Hold my phone. Just do oh, keep going, Jay. I know, Jay. Do the ones by oh, you. Sorry. Right. Mom's thinking it's okay. <laughs> he, tried, he, tried, he wanted to be all night. He wanted to be all night. <laughs> oh. I know. I think do you want me nice. to do it? <laughs> we all jumped back at that one. We gotta say it. Happy birthday. One. Don't leave. Two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday dear Jaden. There's Happy so much wax on the cake. To you. Hey, there's so much wax on the cake. This is a lot of wax. <laughs> That's actually. Right. You just scraped that part off. Do you, I cleaned it off. I give up. Did you clean that off? Like, try it. This try it. is for the Mexicans. That's how you do it like that. That's how I was going to do it. Did you want? Did you want to smoke? Wow. <laughs> wow. You better be careful because that looks like that's going to fall over. Sometimes I wish I had someone else recording me because the way that I just ran through Costco. Y'all, where's the car? Where's, where, <laughs> where'd they park? I was in there so long and I was on the phone when I got here. Where's the car? I don't even know what car. No, I know what car. It's that way somewhere. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. Went to Costco, obviously. Oh, I'll show you guys a haul when I get home. But, um, yeah, one of these little packs of the, the salmon thing I bought, it was cracked open, and I would have noticed, except there were two guys standing in front of it, and I had to lap around twice before I could finally maneuver my way in between them, and by the time I got it, I was like, just happy to get out of there with the pack, and uh, then I'm like checking out, and I'm like, oh, it's cracked open, like to the point where the food was out, and I was like, dang. In my head, I'm like, am I gonna eat that? I'm not gonna eat that, right? Like, I'm not gonna eat this open salmon container. And then I was just gonna deal with it and just like throw that one away. And then I was like, no, that's literally so stupid. So then I'm running because I was already at the checkout and I'm the only one here and I had to pay and do that. So I had, to, <laughs> I had to do the swipe at the beginning and then I had to pay at the end. And I had to run to the back of the store in order to like, oh, <sighs> girl, he's out of breath. This guy was like, do you want to try these super green? He's like, oh, hey, never mind. I see you. <laughs> I see you got somewhere to be. I was like, I'm sorry. No, I cannot. I'm already on super greens. <sighs> Oh my gosh, it's hot out here. Here's my food in the cart. We're about to load a bunch of this into these bags, run home, give you a haul, put it away. And then we're gonna go help my mom design uh, her bathroom because they're gonna totally run out everything and my cousin's doing it and I'm excited. Actually, I'll take you guys with me for that too because um, I can definitely do like a before and after to show you guys. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting. Their carpet, their bathroom is fully carpeted for the last 20 years. It's gonna be quite the upgrade. Oh, haul. I think it's more fun when you can just see it all, right? We got frozen edamame. These come in little bags, which is nice because then there's just enough, you know? What does it say? 12 eight ounce steamable bags. Those are delicious. 
This was so good. I actually made it taste kind of like a Spanish flavor with like lime and we did tacos or whatever we did. We didn't do tacos, what did we do? Oh, I made sopes. So it was so good with that. And then the next day we did it with like barbecue and it was so freaking good. So yeah, got another one of those for the freezer. These are all freezer things. Got this for the freezer as well. There's six little individual ramen bowls in here with the chicken. Um, it's pretty good. So Jaden likes it and it's easy like if I don't cook or if he needs like a quick lunch or something and I haven't made anything like on the weekends. This is new to us, so hopefully it's good. They had a lot of noodle options. Um, this is a frozen one, but it's microwavable, which I thought that was good, right? So it looks like it has plenty of veggies in it. And then I believe there's no um, like protein like in terms of meat. So he could either add something to it himself. Nala might like it too. She's not big on... I don't know. She might like it. We'll see. But overall, I thought like, okay, this is like a good base. Uh, you can have it as a meal or you could add some kind of protein to it as well. And then we also got some kimbap because I got those. Oh, this one is tuna. Okay. I got the ones from Trader Joe's, remember? And we really, really, really liked them, especially Jay, which I think about Jay a lot when I think of freezer stuff because he likes eating food from the freezer and Nala doesn't as much. So I am gonna get her some stuff. I'm gonna go to another grocery store, a regular one, and I'll show you guys what I end up getting for Nala because she, she's a little more particular than he is. But these were really good and it says there's six of them. And I was looking at like the, you know, like the, the nutrition on these and it seems, I don't know, a little more favorable than the one from Trader Joe's. I could be crazy, but golly, geez. That's my cat. Anyway, I just like the idea that there are like six. I'm going to open this. Okay, I wasn't sure what they were going to look like. So, okay, these seem like they might be a little bit smaller than the ones from Trader Joe's, which I don't mind uh, because I feel like it's kind of a big portion. So, this is definitely like a full meal. And I like that the instructions are just on it if I, for some reason, want to get rid of the bag, which I don't think I will because we do have a deep freezer outside. It's a small one, but... Um, I haven't been buying for it lately, so we have plenty of room. Moving on to our pantry items, I got some seaweed. I like that this one had teriyaki and the sea salt one. And the other brand, like the Costco's house brand, Kirkland, those ones are gigantic. These ones are still like normal size. <laughs> like those containers are huge. So I got some of those. And then part of the reason I even went is because we needed more olive oil. Normally I get a different one, but I saw this, so I got this. And then we needed some spray oil because we are out that that's basically empty so we were out of that and then I got ramen toppers because the kids do like having ramen and Jaden likes the ramen toppers I take it out of here and I put it into a little clear container because if I don't they don't use it like they just like they don't see this these we haven't bought in forever but I like them as a nice little snack for the kids yeah these are just like little pouches of granola balls they look like that and you get like probably like five little granola balls in a in a patch in a pouch so they're just a quick easy little snack these i got because they look so fun petite mellows i'd never seen these they look good different whatever and they had six different flavors inside so i figure it's just like a little marshmallow treat and they're all individually packaged and we normally have some kind of little like candy dish over there it's Oh, it's all crooked. <laughs> it's not set up right now, but at some point I will put out a candy dish, probably a fall themed one. And then I got this big pack of goodles. There's four and four. Nala likes to make these for herself. Jane's not really a big fan, but I like it. I mean, she just has this sometimes and it's fine with me. Easy little din din there for the kids. Uh, then I got some flour. This is my favorite place to buy the flour because it's the best price and <laughs> Crashes over here on some serious antics today. Sam's doesn't have King Arthur flour, so I get it at Costco. Okay, then I just got a bunch of produce. So we got cucumbers, a big bag of asparagus, some purple grapes, we got blackberries, we got blueberries, we got strawberries, we got green grapes, whole bunch of mushrooms, nice big old thing of eggs. And then I got this thing full of figs and they look like they are so ripe. So hopefully I can convince the kids to eat some. Of oh, maybe a little too ripe. Okay, well, maybe I should have opened these at the store. Whoopsie. Uh, then I got a big thing of peaches. These look so good, like literally perfect because they're not super soft yet and they're not crazy, crazy hard either. So that's an interesting color for a peach. 
All right. And then I got some of these honey mangoes. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up for the kids. These are the kind that we used to have on the stick. And you know, I need some sharpened sticks. That's what I need. And then these things, oh my gosh. So I love the salmon from this company, right? The Honey Smoked Fish Company. They are the ones that make this salmon. I think Sam's Club has different flavors of it. Definitely like Target, they have different flavors of it. But I went ahead and got up some of this because it is so good. Like so, so, so good. Just outrageously delicious, right? Um, so they came out with these little smoked salmon stackers. And I've been buying them like one by one. They have different flavors. They only have this selection at Costco, but they have different flavors like at the regular grocery store. It's over by the fish, like by the deli area where they have the fish. Um, wait, the deli area and the fish area are two different areas. What is the fish area called? I don't know, girl, but it's over by the fish where you would get fish at a grocery store. And they're so freaking good. Like, uh, ugh. But and when I saw, I saw them online. Someone else had posted them first and they were like, yeah, they are good, except the sodium is out of control. Match your neighbor's house, hello. Um, and I was like, okay, well, I don't, I don't pay a lot of attention to that and I love salt. Okay. So I just want to show you guys this in case this is like, you know, if you're, in case you're monitoring your sodium, according to the comments online, the sodium is out of control in this thing, but I don't have a great frame of reference for that because I don't care as much. Um, so hopefully you could see that. Then I got these, which looked good. Smoked mozzarella and artichoke and garlic chicken sausage, fully cooked. So um, these will just be something I like kind of keep on hand to add in when I didn't like defrost a protein <laughs> for dinner, which unfortunately is kind of often because it's just not my forte, you know? And then over there, if you can't see it, but I got two uh, melons, <sighs> Ramses. I gotta toss that out. These are my bags, very helpful, okay? Very helpful all the time. Uh, but yeah, we desperately needed fruit, so dang it, I didn't get bananas. Dang it, dang it, dang it, I forgot about that. But I got these Tuscan melons, and then I also got a big thing of toilet paper, that was the whole reason I went. And then I got these little fun guys, because I saw people talking about these online as well, and sometimes I like to keep little Lego sets. Like, these were relatively on the cheaper side as far as Lego sets go. I wanna say they were both around $20, if I looked at the correct price tag. And I love that, because these are about 10 inches tall, so probably just shy of the length of the actual box. And they're so pretty, you guys. Like I saw people online talking about them and I was like, wow, these really are like so pretty. And I would love for, you know, I give it to the kids, they make them. And then I just put them on my like bookshelves and stuff. And the kids love going in there and being like, oh, I made that one. Oh, I made that one. Anyway, they're just, they're fun. They're cute, I like them. Uh, but yeah, that was my Costco haul. So let me put it all away and then I'll probably make a little snack because <laughs> I'm a little bit hungry. I just had some toast this morning and I had some Quest protein chips in the car and uh, that does not satisfy me. So <gasps> I have one last meal prepped chicken chickpea salad in the fridge and I am very grateful for that now that I remember. So we're gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away. We'll prep it later as far as slicing and dicing and cleaning and da da da. I'll do all that later because I am gonna go and meet up with my parents and my cousin at the floor and decor place. And you guys, I know a lot of you do not care about books, but if you were gonna read one, okay, I have been knee deep in this bad boy for a minute. And it is apparently number 12 in the series. And Karen Slaughter is masterful. Because at one point I was like, no way did I figure this out that quickly? And then it's just going, 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 and she's peeling back every layer and it's a freaking onion. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the ending. And then I'm like, whoa, wait, that's not the ending? And then it's like, okay, this is the ending? <gasps> no, that's not the ending either. And like, I I'm not even at the end, but I am so, I was in the car like, <gasps> No, I walked in telling Lewis about it like he was reading it or something and um, He's not but I wish someone else was reading it because I want to talk about this book with somebody because it's so good Like I'm tempted to make this like our book club book <laughs> because it's so good. It's just Karen Slaughter is so good so good <sighs> All that to say that I, I want to I want to put that on because I'm listening to it right now and oh girl I just I gotta see how this ends <laughs> <laughs>